part of lecture, we are going to actually look at how we connect to the database. So the code in the PHP to connect in the database is in this demo.php. You have this file available on your on the canvas. So first we have to um, define our database name. Um, I'm going to show you how you can create your database in um, PHP my admin. So basically you need to create a database first and then the password is basically on PHP my admin the admin password is root. Um, the username sorry is root and then there's no password for it. So the DB host is local host. So if you are not using the local host if you are running it on another server then you put it there. And then um, we want to actually use this MySQL connect to connect to this host with the username and password. And if it doesn't connect, then we are going to get an error. Um, so the DB, we are going to select that database. And then um, we can basically, um, if the database, um, basically, if it cannot um, find the database name, it's going to error out. And then we are going to um, have the value post input one. So. I'm going to show you um, what was in the um, basically the um, demo dash form. So in our form, we wanted to actually have one input. So that's why we are going to also uh, making sure that that is going to be posted into the database. And then uh, we are going to insert into, we are going to insert this into our table. This is the name of our um, table as well. Um, sorry for a mistake, I used both of these names the same, it's a little bit confusing, but this is the name of our table. And I'm going to actually uh, show you how this works and then I'm going to change these names and uh, show it to you again so you can understand it better. And then um, basically um, if um, this, there is an error in this SQL, it will error out. Otherwise, it's going to show you and you will see it on your screen that it says connected successfully. Okay, let's look at demo-form.php file now. So basically, this is the same as what we have done before in the previous, in the first part of the lecture. So again, um, we are going to actually... Um, connect the demo dash form to demo.php to the other one to this one that is going to be connected to the database because we are not only going to post it um, or process um, the values we want it to also be posted into the database so that's why in this example we have these two files but this file will have this as what you have seen before in the previous example, but also it will have all of this because you are making the connection to the database. So again, um, so we are going to only have one field on our form that's called input one. And it's going to be the type is going to be text and we are going to have a submit button because it's a form. So let's see how when we run these, how does it work? Okay, so we go back to our local local host. We put it on the forms folder, demo-form.php. So when we run this, we will get something like that. So we are only going to put input one value maybe in there. And um, the text type was text. So I'm just going to type like, um, hello, Lila, all in one word, and submit. So... When I hit submit, it's connecting to my other forms, demo. Um, it's going to connect to the other PHP file that I've created, the demo um, PHP file, which is actually showing you how it's connecting to the database. So it's, that's why um, if I bring this up here, you will see that it connected to the demo.php and you get this echo, connected successfully. So we have it here. So the next part is we want to see if it's connected or if it's posted that hello Lila into the database. So let's look at the local host and we are going to actually go to PHP my admin. So we put PHP my admin and remember the first step on here is to create a database. So we, call, we created a database and called the demo. 
So this is the database called the demo. And I also called the table name demo. So if we look back, I could have called it anything else. I just put it, both of them the same. But normally you have a database that's called maybe something else and then your table could be something else. So if I open this up, And you can see the database name is demo. So that's what we have created in the PHP my admin. We have created the database name called demo. And then our table name is demo as well. So I want to see if it, that got processed. So if I click on the demo table, I can see these are all the entries that I have done before. But this one, This is the last entry, which we saw hello Lila I put in there. But you see how many um, I have hello Lila. It's only showing hello. Why not the rest of it? Because if I go down to the structure up here, and if I click on my input, I have, I can only show five characters. I actually limit this to five character. I want to change this now. So I can come here and the length is going to be like 20 character and save it. And now I'm going to browse and I'm going to go down here. Well, I just changed it now, so it's not going to change. So let me try it again. I'm going back to here. And I'm going to put hello Lila again and submit. And now I'm going to refresh my database. And you can see now all of them would fit. Because when I define my database, I only gave the input only five characters. So we can do this by going to the structure and then we can actually click change and change whatever we want into the structure. And here you go. You are able to uh, post into your database now. Now I'm just going to actually create a new database because I didn't show you that part. So I'm going to actually create a new database. So I'm going to click on new here and I put the new database name. I'm going to call it um, test and I'm going to create it. Oh, I cannot create it because I already have tests. I'm going to actually call it test cop 3700 and create. Okay, now it's asking me to create a table name. I'm going to actually call it test table. And I'm going to have four rows and say, okay. So I'm going to have my fields. I'm going to have input one. I'm going to have input two. And the type will be here. I'm going to change it. Varker. I'm going to put Varker. The length, I'm going to put 100. I'm going to put 100 in here for the length. I'm just going to leave the rest as default and say save. So I have created my table now in here. So I'm going to go back to my um, PHP form. So I'm, I want to connect, but I don't want to connect to the demo table now. I want to connect to what we called it right now. We called it, let's just go back and see what we called it. We actually called it this new database test cop 3700. So that's what I'm going to put. I'm going to put test cop 3700 and the user name and password is the same um so I will also put input two in here. I'm going to copy and paste it and put another input in there. I 
I will also so we're in a set demo, we type test in there. And then we want to um, put our input, we want to have a value in there. Okay, so we, but now we have two inputs. So now we are put, calling something value two. I just copied and paste this and I put input two in there. Also, we now want to insert into our table test input one and input two so input one goes with value and input two goes to value two so they go to together and this one goes with this one and then we will save our data and now let's try this also, we are going to change our demo dash four so that we are going to have two inputs in there. So I put this already. So I have demo input two. So now we have two input. And so our database is also correct. We want to show two inputs that we put in and it's going to insert it into the first value and the second value. So if we go back to our database, what we have created, we have actually created, we put two inputs in there once we created it. So let's try to test this. We are going to actually run the um, demo dash form. So I'm going to actually run demo dash form and we are going to put two inputs in there first I want to put um, the first input is houses maybe the second input is vegetables and we hit submit so it, it shows that it got connected to our database and now we are going to actually check our database to see if these inputs got posted into our database so I'm going to go find, of course, you see, I have all these test environment here. I'm going to go find my database, which is here. And I'm going to actually click on my table, which is the test table. And then I'm going to see, here you go. Our input one was houses, the input two was vegetable. So you can see that they got inserted into the table. You can use this using other inputs as well to test it. Here you go. You got connected to the database again. And this time you created a new database. You have actually created a new table. And then you kind of modified the um, demo.php. And you added the input to in there. And also we wanted to make sure that we insert into both of the inputs. And of course, we needed to change our database name and the name of our table, which the name of our table in this case was test. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this lecture and hopefully you can create another form for your assignment. Just, uh, you're just going to have extra um, input fields in there. So I have asked you in your assignment to create maybe first name, last name, email. So it's going to be exactly same as this. So instead of putting input one, maybe you can put name. Instead of putting input two, you can put um, email. Then you have to add more fields in there. So in here, probably you're going to have four or five more things. And in here, you will have four or five more values according to the assignment. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.